Hotel Kent Trucking. This is Raven. Uh, yes. How's it going today? It's going pretty well. All right. I'm fine. Thank you. So I'm returning the phone call that I got yesterday. Would that be from you? I left a message in the messenger. In your Facebook messenger? On Facebook? Yeah. Are you a driver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sent in a list of questions. I think some somebody responded back to me. They tried to call me yesterday. Okay, one second. Can I put you on a brief hold? Oh, okay. Which, what's your first name? Shine. Okay. All right, give me one second. I'll figure out how to get you over to All right, are you there? Yep. Okay. All right, your question. <laughs> It really doesn't matter which recruiter I talk to. I, I just had some general questions that I sent to you guys in the Facebook Messenger. How do you pronounce the name? Crawcam. Crawcam. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I've seen a few of you guys trust. I just never knew how to pronounce the name. I, I thought it was Craw, Craw, yeah, Crawcam. All right, can you tell me a little bit about the company and what type of and what type of freight you guys haul? So we are a family owned and operated mid-size company. We do mostly reefer. Some of it is dry van. That's about all of the what's your zip code? I'm out of I'm out of Ohio, four four one oh eight. Okay, then for you, yeah, it would be reefer and dry van. Okay, okay, okay. So that's is that the only two divisions that you guys have? Just uh reefer and dry van? Y'all don't y'all don't do flatbed or anything else? No, not, not in your area. Oh, okay. But you guys do flatbed, though, right? We do have some for, like, local routes. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. How much experience do you guys want? We don't require any. As long as you have your Class A CBL, we have a training program for anybody with less than six months experience. Okay, okay. What would be the pay for it? Um, now, how let much me... experience do you have? I got six years. So are you willing to drive into the boroughs four or five times a year? So you would be starting at up to 54 cents a mile. Okay. So how much would it be if I did decide, if I did agree to drive into the boroughs? Then you'd be up to 58 cents. Okay. So just four cents more just to drive into the barrel. So you guys do, do you guys do a lot of Northeast? Uh, yes, our other terminals in Edison, New Jersey. So we pretty much go back and forth using I eighty, I seventy. Oh, okay. Do you now just for the boroughs, but is there any additional pay for going up in the northeast? No, not for that specifically. Oh, okay. So it's just for oh. if I de- if I decide to go down into the boroughs of New York, then it would be a it would be an extra four cent for So we have East Coast pay and then we just have Midwest pay. So if you're willing to go out there, then you get on um, East Coast pay. And that's Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, Philadelphia. Okay. So what... it's not exclusive to New York City, but if you're not willing to go over that way, then so you know that kind of limits what you can do. All right, so back to my question. So is that a di- is that on top of the fifty four cent, or fifty four cent is the East Coast pay? No, the East Coast pay is fifty eight cents. Oh, okay. So if I do East, if I just do the East Coast, then my pay will be fifty eight cent coming in. No, there's okay. So you being in Ohio, you would be Midwest regional over the road. So you would do both. But you would not exclusively do East Coast. Okay. <laughs> so what is the pay? Because you just explained like two different pay variants. The pay is up to fifty-four cents a mile. If you are unwilling to go into New York City, if you are willing to go into New York City four or five times a year, then you're up to 58 cents a mile. So it's 54 cents for East Coast and Midwest. 
But if I decide, <laughs> but if I decide to go into New York and the barrels, then it'll be fifty eight cent for the east coast if you're if your route is taking you in any of those places that i mentioned then yes okay okay if you're exclusively so, running midwest then you're going to be at the 54 cent. okay so let okay so let me make this a little bit more simpler then so if i run midwest my pay will be 54 cent but if i get a load that's taking me up into the northeast then I would get an additional four cent. Correct. So that's additional pay for running the Northeast, right? If I decide to, if I decide to take a load, or if I'm assuming if I get assigned a load to run in the Northeast, I would get that additional four cent. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is this a W is this W2 or 10.99 or do you guys offer lease program? It's W2, you'd be a company driver. Oh, okay, okay. So no 10.99, no lease options or nothing like that, straight W2. If you are an owner operator, um I'm not sure how owner operators work, but if you're coming on as a company driver, it's W2. Oh, okay. But again, you guys don't have no lease options. Like if I want to, if I want to run like le lease one of you guys trucks. We don't lease trucks. Okay. Okay. All right. W2 then. What benefits do you guys offer? We have two medical plans, dental, visual, dental, vision, 401k with up to 6% match, paid vacation. Okay, two medical plans. What are they? What is one of them is company paid, and the other one is the other one is coming out of my pocket, or how did that work? One is a higher deductible, lower monthly payment, and the other one's a higher monthly payment with a lower deductible. Okay, all right. So I will be running the Midwest region, coming out of the area from where I'm from. Do you guys hire like all over, or do you guys just hire? in certain areas? Um, our hiring area is pretty much our running area, Midwest, Northeast area. Oh, okay, okay. So being that I'm running regional, I can get home just about every week, right? You're pretty close. All right, so if I'm running, if I'm running regional and getting home every week, would that be Friday evening? to monday morning or would that just be a 34 say. oh okay it, it would depend on your clock okay okay what equipment do you guys run and what are the truck speeds we have currently 2017 and newer freightliner cascadias they're equipped with apus so you don't have to idle they are governed at 65 with the exception of a five minute window in an hour to it'll let you go to 70 for past purpose uh okay explain that five minute window in an hour what is that i can only do 70 for five minutes correct so is that 70 for five minutes every hour Okay, so 70 on cruise for five minutes every hour. Right? So you're governed at 65. Okay. Sometimes you get stuck and you need to pass somebody and 65 is not going to help you do that. So you're allotted a five-minute time to be able to go around them. But if you have exceeded five minutes, it's not going to let you do that. Okay. We pass around trucks every day, right? <laughs> that's I, that's new to me. I never heard that before. That's why that's why I guess I'm confused about it because I never heard of a five of a five minute seventy mile an hour within an hour. 
So that's if I pass one truck already that that burns out that five minutes, then I got to. It's a collective. It's a collective time. It's not just going to let you pass once and expire after five minutes. OK. OK. Driver facing. It's, just, it's oh. a relatively new technology and it's meant to make your drive a little less frustrating. Okay. Okay. Driver facing cameras. Yeah. All right. Um, and of course, we already talked about your lanes, which is the Northeast and the Midwest. Is there a sign on bonus? Which you- yes, it is twelve hundred fifty dollars. You'll get paid out your three, six, and nine month anniversary. You get an extra two hundred fifty dollars, and then you get five hundred on your one year anniversary. Okay. Okay. Um. Now you said that for drivers with less than less than a year or less than six months, would they be coming in at the same amount as an experienced driver such as myself, like you said, at fifty four and fifty eight cent a mile? No. Okay. What will be a less what will be a driver that's coming in at about a year? What what would they be coming in at? At a year? Yeah. At a year they would be Coming in at a year, it would be that would be where they come in at fifty four cents. It's the I was thinking of the middle, the six months. Oh, okay. So basically, it doesn't matter whether they got a year or six years; they'll still be coming in at fifty four cent a mile, unless they run the Northeast, which is an additional four cent. Right. Okay. Do you help guys get their CDLs if they don't have their CDLs? You have to have your CDL before before we will run your application. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Cap. Again, how do you pronounce it again? Cal. Crow Camp. Crow Camp. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. For orientation, where's orientation will be held at in? And with this is a three part question. So where would it be held at? How would I get there? And is it urine or hair follicle or both? So uh, orientation is in Allenton, Wisconsin. If your application is approved, then we will pay for your travel here. Okay. And your drug screen would be urine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much. I will definitely keep this in my pocket. And I would also share this with with my truck driving school buddies. And yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. All right, now you take it easy. Feel there's something in the air tonight. Got a feeling coming over me. I swear that this is that place to be in the water, in the the water, in the water.